So for this video, I wanted to take it back to my roots as a beer reviewer. For those of you who don't know, I have another channel called The Sacramento Beer Show where I review beers and I reviewed well over 100 on there. Um, obviously not in Sacramento anymore, so not doing that channel anymore. But I thought it would be fun to review a uh, Milwaukee beer and even more fun to review this beer because it's not just a beer that you can buy in the stores. My wife, Jamie, just got a job at Byron and they had this beer brewed uh, especially for them um, by Custom Beer Company out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And this is an IPA, it's called Office Day IPA. I'll show you a little close up of that, uh, that can art there. Got the guy with his, his Zoom call up, dress shirt and tie and boxers fuzzy slippers. Uh, it says, whether at home or at the office, we've been your HVAC experts since 1955, Byron. Uh, in these crazy times where we have all had to find creative ways to adapt and overcome, we are so grateful for partners like you who trust us to get your jobs done the right way you know. We have your back, so take it easy and have a beer on us. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from your friends at Byron. Cheers to you. This is a 6.5% India Pale Ale. And pour it into my Urban Roots glass. One of my favorite breweries from Sacramento. It's a very pale like straw color and it's clear. Never know these days with IPAs, right? A little bit of like a chill haze on it, but it's not like a hazy. And it's got like bright white head. Um, looks good in the glass. I smell it. I'm smelling lots of like orange and like citrus aromas. It smells a little sweet and hoppy, like a grassy sort of dank hoppiness. It smells like a, like a West Coast style IPA. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a sip. Very light, not a ton of like hop bitterness there, but there is some. There's like this like sort of um, pithy, like grapefruity type thing going on. It's very light though. Very, not super like full bodied, you know, very, drinks very light for being 6.5%, um, which may or may not be a good thing. There is actually like a lasting finish though, kind of like a hop bitterness thing going on now that I'm getting. Um, surprisingly, this is probably one of the most like West Coasty styles of IPAs I've had since moving to Milwaukee. I find that a lot of them are actually like a darker copper color as opposed to this lighter straw color. And they have much more malt presence around this one. It's very hop forward, citrusy without being like cloyingly sweet citrusy like I've had in some. They taste like sweet orange soda kind of way. And uh, it's not very malty. Um, some would call that unbalanced, but it's actually very much like many of the West Coast style IPAs uh, we had loved uh, back in SAC, like um, Panic IPA, Ubedank IPA, Integral IPA. Although this was like canned and brewed at Custom Brewery, the recipe is from Mob Craft, who is, as far as I understand, a, a crowdsourced brewery, where they crowdsource input um, what beers they should brew, and then they brew them. So this is very much like a West Coast IPA that I'm pleasantly surprised. I had no idea what to expect in a beer from an HVAC company. I like it, very drinkable. Um, just the right amount of hop character and bitterness. Uh, it's not overly hoppy. You know, it's not definitely not like double dry hopped, but it's definitely there enough. That's the end of this video. I'll see you soon.